St. Mars is crawling with light. Plankton found on space station. All of that stuff has been proven by NASA itself to survive the conditions of space. St. Mars is crawling with light. Maybe not crawling, but microbial light. Okay. I believe it exists in ambient space as well. Right? That there are thousands of life particles. Thousands. God, trillions of life particles. Yeah. Viruses. In space. Microbes of all sorts in space. Then you say, well, come on now, space, you know, radiation is so strong and it's like right. vacuum and all of that. And nothing lives in space. We grow up. You think space, yeah. nothing there dead. Yeah. Now there are particles all over the space. And what are those particles? Those particles are comet dust or cosmic dust. Okay. Okay. No doubt in anybody's mind that tons and tons, and you get a lot of dust for a ton of dust. Duns. Yeah, yeah, Us. worldwide. Tons They're talking about it. it's a yeah. it's a light rain, but it's everywhere. Yeah. You get tons and tons, uh, 100 tons a day or whatever that stuff comes in. Yeah. Okay. Those pieces of cosmic dust, in some cases, maybe most cases, I don't know, are actually kind of large enough to see, potentially. Right? The, With a naked eye. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's maybe, maybe just regular microscopes. Sure. You know, but they're, they're in that range. A virus oh. or a diatom yeah. or a E. coli bacteria in a desiccated form inside of a visible to just sub-visible particle of comet, cosmic dust, it's like being at a space station a million times larger, well-shielded. Yeah. Right? right? And it's not alive. It's not sitting out there alive. All of that stuff has been proven by NASA itself to survive the conditions of space. When you go take um, tardigrades, for instance, Fabulous thing. You know, tardigrades are everywhere on Earth. They're called water bears. It's tiny things. Okay. What are they? They're tough as hell. They're called tardigrades. Little water bears. Organisms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Little things. And yeah. They all look, look different. It. They look like a child's plush toy. Yeah. yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. And they live in all moths worldwide. But they also own Antarctica. You know, tardigrades. And then they started testing tardigrades. They said, well, how do they live in Antarctica? And, you know, here and there. And they're extremophiles. They're in the class of things yeah. that... that they they can't find anything killed. So they actually went so far with tardigrades and they have with other they went and painted them on a plate, put it outside the space station, yeah, brought it in, and just add water and heat, then thing comes back to life. Yeah. Now why in the world would evolution endow that creature with the ability to withstand that unless that creature was intrinsic to the universe and it sometimes lived it because they can Hibernate. They can go into. Mm. There's another word I'm seeking. But like that's dormant hibernate. Stasis. Yeah, dormant stasis. Yeah, and shut down, right? And then it's just add water. So just add water light, plus a space station of a. And then you say, okay, well that might be good supposition. What's the proof of that? You can go on the Cosmic Tusk, my blog, and type ISS International Space Station Plankton, and you can see that the Russians. Ten times over six years, went to the window, the tourist window on the outside of the space station where they look out themselves, and right? Big thing. And took tampons. I talked about this on Danny James. Me to say it. Took tampons and swiped the window, right? And very careful. Did it ten times. Made sure no again. Put it in the little thing. Uh -huh. Brought it back to the Russia. Took it to the damn one. Ten out of ten. Every one of them, planktons, diatoms, E. coli, e. coli. yes, yes, bacteria, yeah, oh. DNA particles of it, sure. So not that, and I don't mean about some whole. So I remember waiting in my kid's pickup line in like fifth grade or something, and looking at my phone, and it says plankton found on space station. And I'm a big fan of Chandra Wickramasinghe, who's kept the, this whole truth alive. And he's 85. Big fan of his personal friend, talk regularly. And I said, Chandra is vindicated. Hell yes. That's something he would say. The plankton on the space station. Yeah. This is going to go baby. But crickets. Nothing. Just nothing. They did. Space.com came out and said, TASS, the Russian space agency, had to earn the space. They had a, it was an errant report. Nobody can get anybody to follow up. There's no backup. It was blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and then, then none. And those were slashed out articles, right? And then I had actually missed it and found out a year or two later in 2018 
the Russians actually put those results in a paper because I'd just seen it in this little spattering of articles. And you read the paper, very well done, all very established, um, seems to be institutes. And you got to think, if you're writing a paper about your tests mm. and evaluation of something that came from the space station, you're a credible scientist. Yeah, you, yeah that means at least you're the person in Russia that gets to the yeah. space station. Yeah. yeah, right. So these people came out and they said, yeah, which we got life all over the outside of the space station. So you say, well, that should be a big deal. But they hedged. They said, and this is oversimplifying, but um, it's clear in the paper, either it came from above yeah. or it came from below. Oh, come from right. So they even say in the paper that they kind of go through the two things. And then they say, we weigh down on the side that it came from below mm -hmm. as hoisted into the, at the atmosphere, into into space, immediate space, orbital space, wafted it on there through an unknown mechanism. Yeah. If you got to punt to an unknown mechanism, you got a problem there. Yeah. And in second, that means we're seeding it into the world. That it's is going that way. Light yeah, right. World. And that proves panspermia in itself. Why in the next planet doing it? Why in the yeah. next? 